Hello, and welcome to the pet room. I have just closed up the blue bezel pet. I'm turning it on. Uh, there it is. Those beautiful words. Commodore Basic, 1,023 bytes free. Now, have I tried this keyboard? No. Okay, I already see now that the shift lock is down. Ooh, but so far, and you know what? I've done something that is perhaps not completely wise. I'm in the dark. I'm just putting a little light here. Oh, that's not good. See, the screen shows up better in the dark. I think it does. That was I need some indirect light. All right, that helps. Okay. I'm gonna hit there's a texture. I'm gonna go across the top. And that all looks good. Quirky. That all looks good. And that looks good. There's the race bar. And then there's bottom of the number pad. Go oh, yep, going across the number pad. I can delete things. There we go. Can I move sideways? Oh yeah, I'm in quote mode. I should do another quote to get out of it. So I can move sideways. Shift keys work. Yes. Um there, syntax error. Now, the home key works. I can move down. I can move side to side. Okay. Oops. Print. World of Commodore. Quote. Let me call it con. Go to 10. It gives a little, it's a little flash when I put something in. I'm not sure if that's good or bad or just normal, but there it is. The blue bezel pet is working. This is one. I did not have much hope of it working. I did not. Oh, I should just, there, there's the off reverse key that slows down the screen so you can see better. And indeed it says world of commodore now this hang on see this machine right now has a very small program it will not take us long to fill this machine with memory and how do we do that we keep on doing that. i guess i could have done this better if i had well oh, uh oh, what was that? What was that? It went away for a second. Okay, it could be a bit of a, a loose connection in the monitor. See, there's that little flash when I hit that. Anyway, if I had done this better, there we go, I would have, um, what would I have done? I would have made this line longer. But anyway, so be it. I can fill the memory just by adding these lines. I could have done it faster. Okay, and now I want to go back up to the list. There's more. 
And now, I can go up to the top and I can say 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Oops. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I put in some other wayward line. It's all going to fill up the machine because eventually I don't think it's going to be. Oh, fine. Aha! Out of memory error. Okay. That is a beautiful thing. Okay. Now, will it still run? It will run. But indeed, I have filled the memory of this machine completely, totally, absolutely. Because remember, it only had about a 1K available, and that's about a thousand characters. Four thousand twenty-four, to be sure. I will pause that. Now let's see here. So we have this thing here, and you know what? This three sixteen. I, you know what? I'm going to get rid of it. Three one six, and I'm going to go for forty. Okay, so that still happen is happening. I know if I go here. And do 41. It's going to say out of memory error. So I will move over here. Remember, this is basic too, so it doesn't have the automatic cursor thing. I'm going to get rid of the go to 10. We're still out of memory. Okay. I'm going to move over here. And I'll get rid of the world comma. Okay, so it took that. So we're on the verge of out of memory. Oh, it took that. Okay. So let's just say we'll put in the space. And the quote, we're still okay. Let's be daring. The semicolon, we're still okay. The colon, out of memory, are right there. We are right on the verge. Right there. So there is exactly the RAM that we have. Now, will the machine still run? Yes, it will. It will indeed. So as you can see, this is a not a green screen, but a um, black and white. It was before the green screen. And I've often wondered, is the green screen really green, or did they just put something over the screen to make it green. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I, you know what? I was really discouraged about this pet because I tried lots of things before and it didn't come up. And remember, this is the rare one, one that has a full-size keyboard, which seems to be working quite fine. It has no nameplate because it is quite early. It has funny video things in there and I, I'm pretty sure it was at some sort of school or university or something it has the special video adapter thing um but also it would have been one that I'm suspecting because they have, I never knew this but supposedly they sold kits where you could basically remove the middle of the machine the bottom would say the same the top would say the same probably you had to have it done if you didn't know what you were doing or they would take off the monitor take off the middle section of the machine where the keyboard is and what holds the monitor and replace it with a full-size keyboard size thing because of course the chick keyboard was atrocious it was so there we are once again dwelling in the world of Commodore on a machine that i never ever 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 thought that i would get working but this 
This is exciting. Later, I must call Rudy at Ruby's retro window and tell him the blue bezel machine is working. Now, I suppose what I could do, because I really don't need this to be so full of this program, is I could get rid of line 41 and I could change line 10, because really it's just going to line 10. I uh, could change line 10 to... I could take out that, and I could put sort of the semicolon. Semicolon means everything will print next. I could put in a comma, move this stuff over, put TI, I think this was supported, go to, oop, go to, can write that out. It still takes it. R -E -N. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I can see what's what here. Now, I'm going to, oops, stop, 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 stop. I can also put in line five if it will hold it. TI string equals, oops. Oh no, TI equals zero. I think that will do it. I think that will reset it. Nope. All right. TI dollar sign equals, quote, one, two, three, one, two, three, quote. Do I have that right? Yes, I do. Okay. So now it will tell me for how long this has been running, really, when it's been running. And I can go up here and put in some more things if I have memory for it. One, two, three, four. Okay. The screen went dark. The screen came back. One, two, three, four. Blue. That is weird. Blue bezel. One, two, three, four, five, two thousand and one. And I'll be in quote mode. Oh dear, I'm in quote mode. Okay. That's one space. Fix that. Now, am I going to have memory? I'm out of memory. Okay. Da, 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 da. Line 22, go away. Line 10. Okay. We're back. Now, I was curious why the screen. Oh, okay. Hang on. That is not what I had in mind. Stop. I think I'll do it. No, what have I done? I must have something in here. What have I done? Print or loop color, blue bezel. Two thousand and one, comma. Oh, 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 I'm going to change this to a semicolon. So that should then have it where there. That's good. Oh, almost. Almost. One space. 
question. So simple. I'll change this to blue bezel hat. Place coat run. Now it's still got an extra thing there. So I'm gonna change one thing here. Gray print quote through the screen. And then I'll go up to 10. I will put in a thing and I will tell it to go to the top of the screen. So what should this do? It should clear the screen and it should just do this. And it should just now keep counting. Now, why does the screen go black once in a while? I don't know. I do not know. It is very strange that it would do that. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to 10. And I'm going to do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to put in cursor down movements. I took it. I'm going to run. So there, it prints now in the middle of the screen. We're on our blue bits at and it will count the seconds. Maybe I can zoom. Oh, this will be a bit bummed. There. So, now, not that I want this to fail. I do not want it to fail. I want it to keep working. I do. But I think I'm going to leave that sitting there. I think I will. I think I might leave it sitting there so that I can see that it continues to work. That is the plan. And let's put TI string, it's right there. So, am I going to leave this recording for that whole time? Nope, not at all. Not at all. I could do a time lapse. But I don't think so. Anyway, so it's a funny thing. I meant this whole thing started when I came along to tinker on Dusty, Rusty, and Crusty. And this machine just came along as something that I could steal chips out of and I knew it had the same port. And now it's working. So, started with one working pet, now have two. Gotta get on to the third. And then, of course, I will continue to find all the old, 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 old board machines and work on them all and see how many we can get working. And yes, it is possible. That yes, some yes, some of these might leave the nest. Well, they will. They will. They have to. I just I have too much. I have too many. Anyway, thanks for coming to the pet room and seeing this great, great, great thing. I don't know when this machine last worked, but never while I've had it, and it's been. It hasn't been too too terribly long. I got it. I think in the midst of COVID. I think. And what really attracted to me, first of all, it was a pet, but also it had the blue bezel. I didn't know about the rest of the weird stuff. Anyway, it's working. So, from the pet room, David Bradley, signing off. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye for now.